Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a hydraulics hydrology problem and in particular we're going to be talking about some gutter capacity. So here's what the question says. 24 foot wide two lane street is crowned in the middle and has a longitudinal slope of 3%. Uh, the allowable spread is 7 feet on each side and the road of the road to maintain a 10 foot drivable lane during the 10 storm 10 year storm event. Uh, the pavement cross slope will match the gutter cross slope. What slope will the pavement cross slope need to be in order to transport 3.36 cubic feet per second? All right. So the trick to this one is find a good formula and uh, it's going to be in the PE manual on page 367. So when you look, you will find uh, a formula that looks a little bit like this. Your flow rate is equal to A sub U divided by N times S sub X, raise that to the 1.67 power, times S sub L, raise that to the 0 0.5 power, and we have T to the 2.67 power. So uh, we have a lot that we can go off of here. We know our flow rate, which is 3.36. So let's go ahead and plug that in, 3.36 cubic feet per second. All right, and our KU is actually given a 0 0.56. That's given to us on that page, 0 0.56. Divide that by N, which is our roughness coefficient. You can find that on page 388. Uh, we will get 0 0.011 is a good safe number uh, and then we have sx which we are solving for the cross slope uh, to the 1.67 power and then we have sl which is our longitudinal slope it says it gives it to us in our problem it's three percent so 0 0.03 make sure it's written in decimal form this is to the 0 0.5 power and then we have our spread so this is our allowable spread. What we are calculating is one side of the road. So if you're gonna kind of picture a road that's crowned in the middle, it's a two lane. So we know there's one lane on each side that's 12 feet. It says our allowable spread is seven feet. So you can kind of picture uh, if you have an inlet right here collecting, we can't have water more than seven feet uh, into our road, basically. So this is, that's our maximum, so our spread's gonna be seven feet, so seven feet, and we're gonna raise that to the 2.67 power. So uh, really, you'll notice that we only have one unknown here, and all we have to do is solve for Sx. Okay, so now all we have to do is simplify, so 3.36 cubic feet per second, uh, and we're gonna put that over our 0.56 over 0 0.011 uh, we're also going to bring in the 0 0.03 raise that to the 0 0.5 multiply that by our 7 foot and we're going to raise that to the 2.67 power and all of this ends up being equal to the cross slope to the 1.67 power so whenever you simplify this out you should end up with something similar to 0 0.002 one one is equal to the cross slope uh, to the 1.67 power and so when you solve for the cross slope you should end up with hey while i've got you here if you've already enrolled in, in one of the review courses on civilengineeringacademy.com keep it up you can do this if you're not enrolled i encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources to help you as your FE and PE exams the first time. So with that said, the answer for this one ends up being 0 0.025, and this is equal to 2.5%. So just as a reminder, I thought it was worth pointing out this N right here, the reason why we can use 0 0.011, this is where your engineering judgment comes in. Uh, whenever you're dealing with curb and gutter, you're only gonna be talking about roads that are paved. And so when roads are paved, they're either paved with asphalt or concrete. And so that's why that 
0 0.011. Uh, that's why that applies here. And so that's why we use that N number there, in case you're curious. Uh, so the answer to this one's going to be 2.5%. And so I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.